just because you're evil don't mean you have to be a dick. You know, sinister in Latin means left. Dexter in Latin means right. And there's actually a uh, long-running British comic book series called Sinister Dexter. You're right and left, you know. But um, I just, that would seem noteworthy with a movie called Sinister. <laughs> Even though I'm sure this will have nothing to do with the Latin word for left. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. Again, these videos are probably going to be long, so I'm going to try to keep these as short as possible. This is another Leon Demand. I forgot to mention that for... Uh, the other. I knew the other one was going to be really long. This one being... I think it's a slasher horror movie. I could be wrong. There may be less sidebars. Plus, there's no commercials for me to talk in. So, you know. Um, that's why I feel a little comfortable having a little bit of an intro in this one. This one won't, probably won't be quite as long. Because without the commercials forcing me to fucking talk to fill the space... So I don't have to look at these goddamn commercials. Anyway, let's jump into this shit. I don't know anything about this other than I think it's slasher horror. I, mean, I know it's some kind of horror. It may be slasher, I'm not sure. And that uh, there are sequels. Those are the only two things I know about it. Well, that's trouble. I'm sure I'm going to be saying that a lot this movie. Speaking of slasher movies, you know the teen slasher movies. My favorite part of these slasher movies are the first 20 minutes when they're all having fun, they're laughing, they're drinking, they're joking around, they're playing jokes on each other and shit. Everybody seems so cheerful and they're happy and they're all having fun. Then it all goes to shit. And that's less fun for me. But I remember growing up, I was like, well, that's my favorite part of the movie. That first 20 minutes. Of course, horror movies got more sophisticated since then. I don't see any pranking, nobody's grabbing each other's ass or anything. I just thought... That are you kidding me? Yeah... <laughs> Dumbass. Hi. Sweetheart. What are you doing? Don't tell me you're already possessed by a ghost. Yeah, Goddamn. You know, we just got here. Packing. We fucking just got here. You're already painting on the walls. With me. The school here is supposed to be pretty great. But I want my old We all got problems, kid. Yeah. Jesus. Really? Really. You promise? Just for that, I'm going to say yes to whatever hell demon offers me the first deal. Trying to trick me and shit. Well, not much, I expect, unless I can convince you to load those boxes back on that truck and leave as soon as you're able. <laughs> God damn. So. The fuck is he? You got it wrong. Blood diner? Yeah, that wasn't my fault. Right. Your bad theory, you have to kill or go free. You God ruin damn. people's lives. Okay, I get what you saw. need that. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume your department is not at my disposal? Well, what do you know? You can still get things right on occasion. Boy, this guy, he's lobbing fire, man. There was shade left, right, and center, man. We didn't move in a few houses down from a crime scene again, did we? Oh, shit. I see. No, just don't you say dick. anything. If we did, I don't want to know about it. This is probably the house that it happened in. Thomas? Yeah, we didn't move. We didn't move houses away from the crime scene. We moved into the crime scene. You got to be shitting me! What a massive raging dick! I find it funny that the two other officers apparently want an autograph. They like him. Yep, that's where it happened. All right. Here's the thing about weasel wording shit. It never plays well. Jesus, what is? What did you fuck see? It's too dark. I can't tell. What's spooking you, motherfucker? Calm down. I'm trying to, I'm trying to rant here. I don't want to know. You know what? I'm cool with not knowing whatever the fuck that was. He, he just did. You know, he killed something. I assume that or it's shit. Either way, I don't want to know. But like, you know, your romantic partner does not have a sense of humor about you weasel wording some shit. You're still lying, motherfucker. You might as well just go ahead and tell a bald face lie. Fuck it, right? I think I would rather have a bald faced lie told to me than the, the weasel words of shit. Because then they're going to act like I'm a dumbass. You know? Yeah, well, you know, you should have asked the question in a precise way that would have elicited the correct response. Man, fuck off. So when she finds out, no, we didn't move a couple doors down from the crime scene, we moved into the crime scene, she ain't going to have a sense of humor about this shit. They gave extra time and attention. Now, at the dinner table, the boy got some screen time, right? But I, the girl was introduced first, and she was kind of creepy. So she she's going to be the one to get possessed. What? You know I'm behind you on this. I, I know, but that's not what you're going to say. What were you going to say? Did 
Kentucky blood was ten years ago. Oh shit! And mm. the other mm. two haven't been hits. I take it. What if that was your fifteen minutes? Okay. I don't know much about two crime novels. Books, I guess they're not novels. But they're books. Do the true crime authors do they have to like try to figure out who did it? Based on all, they look at all the evidence and they propose a theory about who did it. Because I thought true crime now, I thought true crime books was just here's what happened, here's all the details. It's like a documentary in book form. Like, here's all the details. You can't get that right or wrong. You just tell people what the details are, right? These are the details you glean from all the sources. But they're acting like he has to come up with a spin and with a theory, and he has to prove it and like put all the evidence together. He's like a Sherlock Holmes. I get, I you know, maybe there's both kinds, right? But he must be the kind where you got to try to figure out what happened, right? When we don't know exactly what happened. Ah, uh, yes, the addict. Not a fun way to watch movies. I used to watch Dad after trying to do this. But one thing, you can't pause it because it'll burn through the film. It has to keep, oh, it's like a shark. It has to keep moving. I get it. So the, the rest of the family died. It wasn't just that the uh, girl went missing. The rest of the family died. Which means, I'm right, one of the kids gets possessed. And they take out the rest of the family. With ice. Respect. Now, you should put some mixer in with that, but, you know. Work in progress. Hey. Yes. Are you going to write a really good book this time? So we can go home? I'm going to write the best book. God damn, he's getting a lot of pressure from inside this house. Not even from the demons, his own family. Like, fuck, man, get off my ass. Good sound design is crucial in any horror movie. This one has good sound design. Dean County Police Department, call manager call. You better hang up, motherfucker. He hasn't yet, but he will. They got caller ID, dumbass. But I get it, he'd be wasting his time to try to report this crime. You know, it's possible this is not a paranormal movie. I'm assuming it was. It's possible it's not. If it's not a paranormal movie, then the sheriff did it. I mean, that's obvious, right? The sheriff, for one thing, the sheriff knew he was moving in here, so he'd be the one to put the fucking film in there. See, it's coded like a paranormal movie. It's got the tropes. It's got the lighting and sound design of a paranormal movie, but... This could be the okie doke, right? The trick bag. Oh shit, the box is moving? Fuck this. The fuck? Okay. Well, I was gonna say, okay, we know this is paranormal. But is that an actual person? The fuck? God damn. Hey, hey, Okay, so they've had this with it before. I get it. This ain't no demonic shit. Right. Okay. You're having a bad dream, okay? One of those night terrors. Night terrors, yeah. See, again, coded as paranormal. I told it. You heard me. I said, okay, it's paranormal. And then I thought my hesitation was maybe it's hallucinating. It could still be a hallucination. Turns out there was a third option. They took the third option. Did Trevor try to pee in the dryer again? Mom. Oh, sweet honey. God damn, man. Everybody's got shade in this yeah, family. Kind of. Oh, I think I had one of those. No, well, night terror is a special kind of bad dream. She would know what night terrors are by now. Come on with this exposition crap. Right. So, Ashley, are you excited about you? Then again, it depends on how long ago he's had it, right? Now I think about it. If it's been a year, she's young enough where they, maybe they didn't feel like they wanted to explain it to her, you know? The first family was having fun in the yard. They get hung. Second family is having fun with a picnic in the car. They die in the car. The third family is having fun in the pool. Right. And these films were especially created for that shit. Making that point, right? Well, that's fucking creepy. I'm back on the paranormal side of things. 
again, could be hallucinations, though. Or it could be a mask, actually. Again, coded as uh, paranormal, but it could be a mask. How are you pausing this shit, dude? You burned through your film. Thank you. Hollywood gets one right. I mean, you just destroyed the image of the fucking... Uh, what you had it paused on, that's gone, man. So you better hope there's a second image of that motherfucker. Looks like he had it around the burn patch. That does sound good. Yeah, because you and Dad do lots of thinking. If you did, we wouldn't be here. You know what you're talking about. God damn, kid. You. Go to your room, Chubba. And I don't want to see you again until dinner. Hey, oh, hey, 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 what happened? Mom's overreacting. Your son is acting out again. All right, what did he do? Oh, so you're automatically taking hey, her stop son? stop it. What did you do? He drew a picture. He drew a picture with a permanent marker on the classroom whiteboard. Tell him what oh, he shit. Did. He drew a tree. With four people hanging from it. Go to your room, Trevor. I need to speak to you. That's the extreme version of Hangman, by the way, the game. You know. first day at school, Ellison. And they still need to have their story told. They deserve that much. You're a real man of the people. Oh, come on. God damn. <laughs> you know, I think it'd be better, since he's paying two mortgages anyway, have them stay at the old house, right? Fuck it. If it's this much goddamn problem, you know, he can live here at this new house. Yeah, kiss him goodnight for me. And get the writing done. You getting good work done? Yeah. Good. I'd be getting more work done if you weren't talking to me. They had to establish this acrimonious relationship with the local police department, and he would definitely have to report this shit, right? I'm no expert, but I think this is what they call evidence. Yeah, right there with you, buddy. Fuck the ice. Straight from the bottom. Wait, so this is a... He filmed what's on the projector with his digital camera, and he's able to pull that much out of it. That's pretty fucking impressive. I'm not trying to be Mr. Nitpicker. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, I have some experience in this field, right? That's all I'm saying. Subjection. Well, first, stay up in the attic, man. Why don't you ghost calm down? I'm trying to work down here. Okay. It's time to open up my Trunko weapons. I'll just say this. You whip out a Morningstar, and these ghosts will be like, you know what, maybe we'll fuck with somebody else. God damn. They got me on that one. I always wanted to do a comedy short film about this cat. He works in movies. He's a professional jump scare cat. And, they, you know, basically his job is they throw him at the, the actors to scare the shit out of the audience, right? Because so many of these horror movies, they have the cat that jumps on the people. Cats don't jump on people, man. <laughs> they, they do not fucking do that, right? But they do in horror movies, right? And so they'd be interviewing the cat. He'd be sitting there with his little sunglasses on. He's in a chair, drinking some coffee or some shit, talking about you know, his favorite jump scare. At the time he got injured because, you know, the person got, the actor got scared and threw him against the wall and shit. It was going to be a whole thing. I never had the money to do it as a cartoon or a CGI or anything, though. The shit would have been hilarious, so. Point being, I'm impressed that they didn't go with the cliched ass cat, right? That's right. Now you pick up a weapon. Man, I would have stayed had that weapon in my hand. The fuck is that? Oh, holy shit. Okay, that's impressive. 
Never seen a snake jump scare before. <laughs> well, you know, other than Indiana Jones. Mr. Boogie, huh? We have a paranormal killer. I didn't get the... I didn't get it. Sleepy time, barbecue, pool party, and hanging out. This motherfucker's got a sense of humor, don't he? So what's the next one? She fucking hit it. Wow. I'm not saying I blame him. I'm just saying, wow. God damn. That was suck ass. Being a man of, uh, shall we say, some girth, I always walk on the fucking uh, studs. You got When you're in an attic, you gotta identify where the studs are and you walk on those motherfuckers. To close it from inside the attic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's paranormal shit, all right. I didn't say anyone was up there. I just said it sounded like there was an intruder. I did see a small snake, though. Snakes don't have feet. God damn, dude. I'm just trying to tell you what happened. Fuck. And that you got squirrels with no way in or out up there and all the power going off in the neighborhood. I bet that they got spoofed from the sound of everything shutting down at once. No, they are. Mm, not really. You know a lot about squirrels, dude. A suspicious amount about squirrels. Maybe he sent them a sense. Because he sure is nitpicking the fuck out of this dude, Beth. I can definitely get this for you. I gotta wait till the sheriff leaves the office, but I will Yeah, get it. yes, you do, sir. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, you do. So -and -so. He's all right, I guess. I, I think I was too hard on There's a lot of characterization in this movie for it being a slasher film. So it's clearly not a slasher film. It's a more of a, because that's what I thought it was. It's a uh, psychological thriller. Because you don't have a good psychological thriller unless you have good characterization. Which I would expect nothing less from a Leon movie, by the way. You know. So he must have a buddy filming this, right? If he shows up on camera, somebody else is filming it. I assume the missing person is a minion, right? DoorDash. Oh, okay. Definitely some supernatural shit. Yeah. <laughs> that could still be him hallucinating. I ain't trusting anything. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Too much day drinking, dude. <laughs> What's up? I really like how coy they're being with all this shit. Holy shit. The fuck is that? Oh, he's a kid. Right, right, right. We have to put a pocket in the That's what I'm saying, man. I was about to say that. I really thought it'd be the daughter he'd get possessed. There's some synopsis in it for you if you don't rip my guts out. Holy shit. That dog's tripping about the ghost. He don't care about you, man. Now see, he never saw that out of the corner of his eye, which means we're definitely in a paranormal movie now. Now, they just crossed the line right there. Right here. They crossed the line. Before even the thing in the computer monitor... He could have saw that in the corner of his eye. It could still be a hallucination. He never saw that shit behind him, right? You never crack into the whiskey this early. I never saw you never crack into the whiskey this early. <laughs> Baby, I'm on my third reaction today. Get off my ass. Potentially important work here. I'm talking about a mega hit. This could be right in cold blood. A movie deal. A talk show. So it's about the money and the fame. It's not about justice. Because I saw a dog. I don't. He, 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 he was a big dog. red dog. <laughs> that is one thing about dogs, by the way. They don't traffic in that ghost and demon shit. They ain't about that life. Miss the dogs with all that bullshit. 
any of your black magic, voodoo, ghosts, demon possession, Ouija boards, dogs ain't fucking with none of that shit, man. They ain't about that life at all. What happened here happened to all of us. It's good that he reads somebody in. Somebody else needs to know about this for when he gets taken, you know? God damn. Holy shit. Now, obviously, it makes no sense that he would watch these this far apart, right? Each one of these, these things are like 10 minutes long, the reels. They're small enough that they, they only last 10, 30 minutes. Dad used to get some, like, Disney short films. Like there was, a, I remember there was a, a Robin Hood short film, and there was a uh, Captain Hook short film, and they, they the reels look exactly like that. They were those films were like twenty minutes long, right? You ain't getting any more than thirty minutes on that shit. So we saw there's like six or eight of these, right? You could watch all of them in one evening. Here he is; he's taking weeks in between watching each one. Nobody would do that. It's for the pacing of the movie, right? Professor Jonas, yes. You can't show them all at the beginning of the movie because that front loads it. You gotta. This was a great shock over an hour into the movie, right? If we go by the rule of three, they'll find the kid somewhere hiding in the house one more time before the final possession (laughs) or eating the soul or whatever, right? They really did a great bait and switch. Introduce the daughter first, make her extra creepy painting shit on the walls, and we never fucking see her again. I know she's had one or two scenes, but... Holy shit, man. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ, that's fucking creepy. Fucking... uh, That's really good, man. That's good. But anyway, yeah, they they did the old bait and switch to the daughter. Very nicely played. I would have bet anything that it was her. Another thing I like is the way they run... You don't really see that with the boogity boogity things and you know these kinds of movies. Usually they like saunter and they move in a creepy way. No, they're just like, no, we're just gonna run away. There's like an energy to it that I like, is what I'm saying. This reminds me of what the Native Americans would do. <laughs> they're the creepy as shit. I forget the name of it. There's a specific name for it. But it basically, they believed in touching their enemy. You know, sneaking up close enough to where they could touch their enemy. And they, you know, the, the goal was, I think, was to do it three times, right? If you can do it three times, you've proven your bravery and then you can kill them, you know? That's kind of what this reminds me of. It's like, damn, we can't ever get a good night's sleep. He's always peeping in on us. Edward ass, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. (laughs) Neither is that. Fucking hell. Does she know this house is, was? Of course not. He's a dick. We've already established that. (laughs) Oh, oh, man. The subtitle said, laughs humorously. Humorlessly, right? I wouldn't sleep one night in this place. Are you nuts? Yeah. Hung by their necks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I guess she painted our picture. That's, that's what she does. That's what she always has done. Yeah, that's this that's is an amazing, amazing performance. What else do you want from me? Fighting? I mentioned this before. Couples fighting specifically. It's really hard to pull off realistically. Most of the time it comes across as contrived. Because the actors are weak or the writing is weak. Your kids are your legacy. My books are my kids. The ghosts are like, God damn, man. Yeah, we were trying to sleep th through the day and these motherfuckers won't stop yelling at each other. One of the other ghosts is talking about, damn, man, my parents used to fight like that. This, now I feel bad. Let's kill them tonight. Well, here we go. Filming some footage for the next people to find. Yeah. <laughs> So you wake up when they turn the flashlight off. Okay. These motherfuckers watch this film one more goddamn time with this loud ass projector. Well, this is awkward. Hey, man. Keep your eyes on the fucking film. I ain't saying shit. Why are you shushing me? Yeah, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> I'm with him. Fuck this. Y'all can keep watching that shit. It's all you. <laughs> Damn, man. You gonna fuck up my projector? That shit's expensive. You think projectors grow in trees these days? Just because you're evil don't mean you have to be a dick. This shit, I'm losing my shit. It's time to go. We should have never come to this house. We have to leave now. No, you're freaking me out here. Get the kids. This is what you fucking want. Now you want to argue? You know, I've had a sneaky suspicion maybe this cop's in on it somehow. Like maybe he's one of the kids grown up. But that was back when I thought this was uh, not paranormal. So, no, I don't think so. But, it, you know, this could still be, maybe he's possessed or some shit, right? Evening oh shit, now it's this dick. Sheriff? Well, just trying to take your advice, that's all. <laughs> Which advice would that be? Get the fuck out of here. And never look back. In that case, no ticket. No book. No, sir. No book, no well, ticket. Then. I don't see any reason for me to have your autograph. <laughs> I like this old fuck. You know? He's a miserable old fuck, but I like him. Deputy Sosa is probably trying to warn him about the ghost coming to see him or some shit, you know? You can't leave. I want to play. Scorpion? Which he said he killed the first night. Then there, was, I think there was a snake in there too. Hmm, the attic. That seems like a good place to put this shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we are again. Fancy meeting you here. I know what you're thinking. Were there six films in here or seven films? Well, do you feel lucky, punk? Extended cut. Holy shit. You don't want that. Dumbass. Really? You're gonna do the extended cut? He just told you what happened. Like, you just can't reach some people. It's obvious. What was it? The dates, the addresses. Each family that you had me look up had previously lived in the house where one of the earlier murders took place. Oh, once they move is when they Each die. Family. Oh, fucking hell. The one time doing the logical thing was the thing not to do. It's a missing kid. 
I mean, we kind of always knew they were part of it, though, right? You know? The hell is that? Paint? Oh, shit. She drugged him. Fucking hell, man. She brings him the drinks. It was the fucking daughter. I they... bet they made the movies longer. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. It was the fucking daughter. They made me doubt myself. It was the fucking daughter. With all the shit going on with the, the boy, I lost track of the daughter, so they still fooled me. Motherfucker. That's how they get you, man. Don't worry, daddy. I'll make you famous again. God damn. Holy shit, what a line. Death. <laughs> what a fucking line. It does explain, you know, it's always been the kids doing this shit, right? Because, uh, you know, you talk about how you had to use drugs on the family. Because, you know, if they're a small kid, they you know, they can't physically overpower anybody, right? Even with, the, like, the hanging, they had to use a heavy tree branch to, you know, to perform the hanging, hanging shit, right? Makes a lot of sense. I mean, like I said, we always knew the kids were involved, but... I always assumed like the supernatural entity would give them supernatural abilities, but not really. It's all within the realm of the physical world, right? You know. And you're not getting a drop of blood. I'm not going to nitpick. I'm not cinnamon sense. I'm not cinnamon sense. Time for me to step off into this photograph, I guess. Hey, does getting your soul eat hurt? So, really, she had to perform a blood sacrifice to really be able to have him bring her into the uh, the movie. Yeah, you dick. Yeah. Completely, un that last jump scare is completely fucking unnecessary. <laughs> Asshole. Here's how good this movie was. I took a break after about 40 minutes to rest my hip, right? Come back, sit down. Thought I'd plug my headphones back in, you know, and because uh, sometimes, depending on how long a break I'm going to take, I may want to screen record part of what I'm watching, you know, because time is of the essence here. So I always take my headphones out just in case, because you don't want to forget to take your headphones out and then try to screen record some shit and, you know, you can't capture any sound, right? So it's just a habit. I always do that. In this case, it backfired on me. I forgot to plug them back in. So I'm sure you've noticed the sound quality of part of the, the vast majority of like the last hour was probably crap. I'll have to get into that and see because, you know, the sink drifts. So I'm going to have to constantly adjust the sink so that they match up and there's no echo because the echo is like super annoying and shit. It's rare for me. Now, I do have hearing problems. So, like, I think a normal person with normal hearing would immediately realize the sound's only coming from the computer and not from the headphones. But still, normally I notice. But I was so engrossed in what was happening here, I did not fucking notice. That's how good this shit is. So you know that's a great movie at this point. But yeah, I actually talked more than I thought I was going to. I thought it was just going to be a typical slasher when I'm talking about, so I got to keep this short. Brilliant fucking movie. This is really fucking good, man. Brilliant. Like, really good. I know they got a bunch of sequels. I'm going to have to check them out. Yeah, so.